Hey there, everybody. Have a creepy day. Or possibly not. Whatever. Make Nintendo Wolf here. Oi, 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 oi. Back off. I know what your game is. And I don't like it. Actually, no, I do like this game in general, Manish Cap. It's probably one of my favourite Zelda games. Mm, it's tied for the top first game, along with Spirit Tracks. <clears throat> anyway. Last episode, we got here to the graveyard. What are you doing here? Boo, this is a graveyard. There are ghosts here. Oh, yes, yeah, speak of which, my brother lives in Hyrule Town. He's a troublesome prankster, but I often wonder how he's doing. Yes, there's a ghost here, and that one's kind of friendly, and it kind of has a purple knit hat, which I think is kind of cute. He must like purple knit hats. Who doesn't? Anyway, well... Comment in the description if you do or don't. Sure, why not? Because I want more comments, because I like reading them. I love them. They really make my day, so please comment. Yes, we made it here to the graveyard, got the key off Dumpy, got it stolen, got it back, murdered a crow. End of, really. Now, if you head over here, we don't really need a lantern out here now, but I like having it. I like having my lantern out. Yes, being indecisive. Push up in this grave in the top left hand corner, and. Oh, no, a puzzle with panels that split you into clones. I wonder what you do here. And look, a height piece. Uh, what the hell is up with that skeleton? Uh, normally, that look, it's a skeleton, but it's not just a body. It's like a snake's body. Is that a snake's body? Maybe that's just decomposing flesh. But whose body is that long in a Zelda game like this when that would take four ten-year-olds to fill up? Okay, probably about three. Three and a half. Uh, yep, anyway, just split yourself into clones there. And kill our clones. Because it's a graveyard and we do that and I feel horrible now and guilty. Anyway, there's another piece of heart. Uh, that should be, like, the last one for a while, I think. Uh, ooh, switches. What's this? Well, presuming, just presuming, since this is a large, that is the largest grave, that may be the grave of the King Gustav. And we can't push that grave. Nope. Okay. What about this one? Yeah, I'm really a nice person. Well, it hints in every Zelda game that you've got to go push over graves to find stuff under them. Hopefully not breed it. Lucky they're not in this game. Ah, okay. A grave. Let's go dig go grave digging. And What did that unlock? Can someone please... What? I don't understand what that just unlocked. Um... Okay, wait, wait, wait. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm lost, I'm lost. I don't know what's going on. Anyway, without further ado, let's show off our sword beams and cut over the... open these rocks and, you know, split into three. Make like a banana and split. That sort of... Jazz and what? Not all. Okay, come on. Go, you did it. Don't, no, 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 no. No, don't fade, people. Please don't fade. At least you can see that actually weighs something. But oh well. Oh well. Why do I say that? But oh well. I don't really like it when I say that. I listen to it back in the editing and like, er. Uh, it's just the way I carry on, the, like, end the conversation so I can carry on to something else. But I don't like myself saying it. I've got to get out of the habit. Now, probably saying that to you guys has probably stated it out and made you, like, not like it as well. Oh, well. Anyway. And oh, well is also one of them. Like, real cre it may be a wild crap, but graves are creepy no matter who they are. Where are we supposed to go to meet this King Gustav anyway? I'm not so sure I even want to, to anymore. Can we just go somewhere else less creepy? Okay, those are Gidos. Gidos? Gibdos? No, Gibdos. Gidos or Gibdos, they're one of their names, I forget which. I've always just called them mummies. Because, I mean, look at them. Uh, they were based off readers in their Ocarina time, but if you get out your lantern in this, they turn into Stalfos. So clearly they've been down here for some time to rot away all their flesh. Yeah, okay, um, and now they're a lot easier to defeat, but since we got the key, do we still have the key? I don't know, we can go through here without... <clears throat> any, like, waiting of any such. But 
yeah, if you have a look over there, you can see that these mushrooms would, like, fling you, but if you pick the wrong one, you'll end up dead. Or at least falling down a hole. See? Look at those tricksters. Now, you have one key, but there are three keyable doors. You have a choice to pick whichever one you want. Now, if you did, like, me on my first... Weird sounds from outside. Uh, not the best for a creepy dungeon, even though it is, like... Okay, it's not the middle of day, it's nearly 4pm, but it's still getting quite dark, it's twilight outside and more weird sounds. Anyway, if you do like me, uh, basically you pick, I picked the middle one, I was like, eh, I'll go for the middle. And that would be the right answer. But after that I was like, oh, there are no more keys, what do I do? I mean, I want to go in the other doors and see what was there. Can anyone, like, where do I get a key? Was there only one key? Would the other keys have been in the other rooms and all that sort of stuff? Well... There are no other rooms. See, they're mimics, door mimics. Yeah, and I was like paranoid over that for the entire game until I played through it a second time and checked out the different doors. So, yeah. Uh, this is a weird room. Nice rug, though. Huh, it looks like we have a series of challenges. With our clones! Attack of the clones! Or something like that. I don't know. It's not that I haven't watched Star Wars, even though if you ever got that impression, but I guess that's why I'm replying. Ooh, a key. It's that I've watched it, I've just never really got it. <laughs> I mean, yay, lightsabers and Wookiees, that's about it. In fact, I don't even get the Wookiees, they're just fucking, that's about all I get. I've played the games like Star Wars Battlefront with Sir Cooper Nutt and a friend, but that I've only like played that up until... Like on the multiplayer thing, so I still don't get it. I don't I don't get Star Wars, I can't help it. So Yeah. I guess that's where people can question if I'm a geek or not. But I'm extremely obsessive over Zelda, so maybe I am. Who knows? What the I just fell through the thing. Did you did you saw that right? I fell through the thing. Yes, the thing. Technical words. Uh, da, 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 come on, float me faster. Either way, yeah, I've got two keys now. Open sesame, click, press A to open them. You haven't seen, like, oh, there are snakes, 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 snakes. You know, like, lockable blocks like that. You haven't actually seen them since the Oracle games and the Link's Awakening. So it's probably a 2D thing. It actually, in fact, it is a 2D thing. Because there is no way that would appear in a normal thing, I don't think. A normal thing? I mean a 3D thing. A 3D Zelda game. Th there I am again, same thing. <clears throat> okay, we've got a locked door in front of us, but unlit lanterns. So let's go light them. Because surely that must open the way, and it's a simple puzzle. A bit too simple, fuck. Uh, just burn them with your lantern, because you can do that. Now suck them up with your gust jar. But as you can see, the lock lanterns that you lit up start firing shit at you. Oi, get over here. Thank you. Die, die. Thank you. Oi, 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 oi. You bitches. At least they went out. <clears throat> you hear that sound? It's the element sound. No, it's the sanctuary sound, I think. Hello? <laughs> Hey, oh young one, child who seeks to learn to act my descendant of Zelda. Despite having many descendants named Zelda, I may or may not know what you're talking about. Welcome, my name is Gustav. I was king of Hyrule countless ages ago. I grant to you this kinstone. Seek the source of the flow in Hyrule. Only then will the, your path open. Say, Zelda, all of Hyrule is counting on you. Ooh, thank you, good sir. Hmm, fascinating. An ancient king of Hyrule? How strange. And the, so and the source of the flow? What do you suppose that could mean? No! Why did you teleport me outside? There were loads of pots in there. They could have had money in them. I'm upset now. Okay, anyway, I think I'm going to end this episode off here for today, for now. Because, 
we reach 10 minute time limit. Yay. Well, I'd like to keep them at 10 minutes because it's a nice, short, breezy break and they're easy for you to watch. Anyway, thank you for watching, guys, and I will see you next time. Whee! Whee! Oh, yeah, also, um, the Kinstone trades, the two you had to do after you did, like, the, um, Temple of Droplets, you had to finish them before you, like, went into the Royal Crypt, so make sure you did them. Okay, two of them, only had to do two, so, yeah, be sure to have done that. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.